guys, my battery is almost dead because I forgot to charge it. So I have to make this really quick. Here is my March wrap up. I read, or rather finished, four books in March, which is the least out of any month so far this year. The first book that I read was another book about Huga, and this one was written by the CEO of the Center for Happiness or something like that, which is based in Denmark. I liked this book more than the last book I read about Huga, and rated this one five stars. The next book was Big Mushy Happy Lump by Sarah Anderson, and I love her comics so much, and even though I had already read almost all of these, I really enjoyed it because her comics are just so much me and the way that I think. I rated it five stars. The next book that I finished was The Path of Daggers, the eighth book in the Wheel of Time series, and I did really enjoy this one because most of it was my favorite characters, but there were a few chapters where I consistently fell asleep. So I rated it four stars. And the last one that I finished was March Book Three by John Lewis. I didn't get to this one until almost the end of March, so it did take longer than I was hoping to arrive from the library. And I rated this one four stars because while it is very beautiful and well done and important, a lot of it focused a little bit too much on the historical context and dates and facts and names that weren't really central to the personal story being told, and it was a lot longer than book one or two, but still very highly recommended. So I did finish one big book off of my shelves, which was the book I had been borrowing from my brother for a long time, and it has since been replaced with book nine, which is also pretty big. And I have started a new book, but I have been feeling like too much of my time has been taken up by trying to get through these big books relatively quickly. So in April, I am planning to take a break from starting a new big book. Though I am currently reading one that I started in March, I'm not going to pressure myself to get through it quickly so that I can start the next one. Because I am also behind on YouTube subscriptions, I'm behind on podcasts by an entire month, I am behind on television by like three months? I don't even know how long. It's been ages. So I really need to get caught up on all of that. I did not finish any diverse ebooks, but I am almost halfway through one right now, so I'm planning to spend time reading that as well. And this is also the month that Breath of the Wild will be arriving because I did go ahead and order it for my Wii U. Because after watching a compilation video of all the horrifying things that are happening to people's switches, I have decided to wait on that and just go ahead with the Wii U. So I will be doing that. It is also my birthday month, so I'm just going to enjoy it and not put any pressure on myself. If you do want to know what I am currently reading, you can always find me on Goodreads. I am Hey Hey Books there. The big book that I am currently reading right now is from another series that I'm trying to get through that I am borrowing. And when I received that book, my mom also gave me another big book that is a companion to the series that covers the books I have already read, and it's pretty much as big as The Stand, so I am kind of on the same exact number of big books that I started out with in the beginning of the year. <sighs> I think I got through everything I wanted to say before the battery died, so thank you for watching. Um, let me know how your March reading went and if you have any reading plans for April. And as always, thank you for watching this video. Bye. <laughs>